Hey guys, what's going on? So I got two new things in the mail today, and I thought it'd be a great idea to do a video. Now, one of them, it's on my head. I was like, oh, these are so adorable, I need them because it would go great with, uh, with my other furry hat that I've already got. I love this, but this feels more like something I can definitely get away with wearing, you know, out and about. While this, on the other hand, if I wear this out and about, I get looked at and look funny. And I only wear it in very specific places. I do still love this thing. It's fucking comfy as shit. This also covers my ears. If you want to get one, I can always link it on uh, wherever I'm uploading this. I'm hoping I'm uploading this to YouTube. I'm hoping. And uh, I used to have longer hair when I was a teenager. If you've seen any of my, if you've seen anything from my teenage days, yeah, I used to have a lot longer hair. It would usually, it would be like right down to here and all this stuff, but so. The second thing is, is right here. And what this is, is parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what parts I got. And then afterwards, I'm going to show you how, what I'm going to be up to for the next 30 minutes. 30 minutes plus, I might continue the video and I might edit it out how long it takes, but you know. Should be two in here. Yep. Little plastic baggie. These are great for weed or cocaine. Ecstasy. <laughs> it's a joke. If you don't get it, I'm sorry. So, wow, that's funny. Okay, so you open that bag, you got two more bags. Okay, so what are these? So I'm going to go ahead and explain it. What these things are, they go, the, they're these actually. These knobs. Now, if you don't know what they are, I'll explain it in a little more detail. So, come to find out, my, uh, actually, they're not even labeled, so I, I'm guessing they're identical. Possibly. No, they're not identical. They, they are shifted a little bit from what I noticed. Oh, I'll take them out and show you. Now, why did I order these? Well, they were five bucks for wine. That's a good deal, in my opinion. I don't know if it is, so if somebody wants to correct me, be my guess. So... I've seen a couple things. I googled this and I was like, "Why is my why are my knobs uh, on my Wii U pad? Uh, they're they're acting up. What's going on with this?" So some people said that a lot of times this will happen. That's it. That's all you get right there. So you have to place them in the center and it should work fine. However, the problem is that um that's not happening in my case. What's actually happening is um. If I do, the, actually, I'll, I'll just, I'll show it. Give me a second. All right, so now that I'm on here, watch what'll happen. See, I'm having a little bit of a difficulty and I didn't do that. You see it just scroll up on its own? See, hold on. Now watch. See, I'm having a little bit of a difficulty here, and I don't know why that's happening. So what I'm thinking is that these guys will help. Now, as you notice, it was just the left one. So I think between the two, if they're situated the way that I think they are, it might be this one that I'm going to be putting on. Because as you notice, that there is a difference between left and right, just a little bit. Not by much. They're just sort of literally mirrored. So... I'm going to be putting that on in this video, and I really hope that a lot of people will find this helpful, and that I can show you exactly what to do. If you have any Nintendo questions, put them down in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Some things that Nintendo doesn't want you to know, maybe some things that um, Nintendo won't answer. There we go. And uh, maybe some other things that uh, you may need to know if you want to do this on your own. So I got interrupted about an hour ago and I was talking to a friend the entire time and uh, I sort of remember where I left off so if I repeat myself in this part of the video, sorry about it. Um, so what I was saying is that yes, as you notice I got a package in the mail. I got two packages. This was the second one. Well they're both you know around that line. And uh, as I was going through I was also trying to find some new VSTs just a few minutes ago. So what I'm going to do here in just a minute is I will cut to watching me take apart my Wii U pad and I will be showing you how these fit in there. As you see, as I said, they're basically mirrored as I was more than likely telling uh, in the last part of the video. I don't really remember because, you know, it's been an hour. 
So as you notice, they're mirrored, which means left and right. And if I'm right, it's probably this one I'm going to be using, and we'll find out here in just a minute. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is my pad. You can see me in the reflection. I see it. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is I will show you exactly how to take this apart, exactly what to do. And as long as you've got this tool right here, you're pretty much set. So it's pretty easy to take this apart. Oh, oops, I turned it on. So make sure you turn this off. Turn off your Wii U, turn off everything, and I'll show you how to not accidentally turn things on. So the first thing you've got to deal with are those screws right there. And that's pretty simple enough to get, uh, to take out. I've got a bunch of, uh, what do you call them, screwdrivers? Yeah, those things. I've got a bunch of them in a little container right here. And uh, you just need a small enough screwdriver to take that out. So give me just a minute to get those out. Once you have it, you're going to pop this open, this back, and a lot of times this is pretty easy. You can, this is meant to be popped open by, you know, non-Nintendo hands, what I mean is like staff. So that way, if this battery dies, you can buy another one and pop it right in. Simple as that. So, of course, you want to make sure that's undone, and then this is where it gets, this is the, you know, the little obnoxious part. I would recommend getting a magnet. I've got a bunch of magnets right here, as you see, because this is when uh, I, I take apart hard drives. So maybe at some point I might get some screwdrivers. If I have a busted hard drive laying around, I'll take it apart and show you what's on the inside. If you've never seen one, I'm sure there's videos on it, but you know, if you want to watch me do it, that'd be really cool. So this is actually easier than you think. And because my screwdriver is already magnetic, you know, it's just, it'll make it a little easier for me to do this. So now we're going to go over to this side. Come on. Got it. Nope, nope, nope. Got it. Come on. And as you notice, if you didn't know this, as you see, come on camera, focus. There we go. As you notice, it, it's, it has, I call this a tri-screwdriver, a tri-screw. As you notice, on my screwdriver, it's actually three points. Some people would argue that if you got a small enough screwdriver, that you wouldn't have to worry about that. Well, for the most part, that is relatively true. However, I would recommend just getting one of these. You can probably pick it up at Fry's or Micro Center. Hell, just order it offline. Just type in, I bet you if you typed in Nintendo Screwdriver, it would pop right up. Okay, so the next part of this, all you got to do, once you have it all up, this is where I recommend you need to be very careful. You cannot pick this back piece up right off the bat you have to be careful and you have to let that you hold that with one hand just to be safe if you don't trust it and if you don't it, this is a cord that you need to be very very careful about because you don't want to mess it up I actually sometimes depending on where it's at I have to look through my glasses but because I'm doing it at this angle it'll still work you want to be very 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 careful that you don't accidentally you know mess up the cord because that is your battery cord once you're disconnected you can move this over here I've cleaned this thing two or three times it looks like a lot I will tell you that it looks like a lot but it's really not and um, most of these are just really tiny screws as you see and you don't want to lose these that's why I recommend getting a magnet that is a neodymium magnet so I will I just you just got to be careful so you get a set of screwdrivers like these pretty much almost anywhere so what you're going to do, if you want to replace this, I'm going to get another magnet and hang on to those. I would really recommend, if you ever get the opportunity, open yourself up a, um, a hard drive, a busted one at best. That's what I say. Get a busted hard drive. And I would recommend doing this so you can... Um, I'm going to replace both of them, even though I think this one, because it's the right, it's fine, but the left one over here... It's not so good, but I reckon, but I'm going to do both anyways. So 
If I'm right, that's the ribbon cable that goes to that, so I should be fine. Two of the ribbon cables will go to it, so we'll find out here in just a minute. Um, yeah, open up a hard drive. I mean, they're pretty cool when you open them up because there are some discs. I've got some discs over here. Ooh, they're about to fall. I'm glad I noticed that. I'll show you the discs real quick. Um, these came out of a um out of a hard drive that I I couldn't I couldn't take these off because. I think I don't have like this. I tried to do it right there, but I just messed it up even more. So I've just left those in there. Most of these discs, uh, they're not like a metal metal. They're not a metal you think you're thinking of because they're not magnetic. They might be a different type of magnetic, but it's not what you think. So, I mean, they're pretty cool. I like them. I, I just kept them this whole time because, you know, collecting these cool little discs. A friend of mine also has a collection of them, which makes it really cool. I guess you could say we're hard drive disc buddies in a way. But I usually keep um, all those separated from the ones that are still connected together so that way they don't scratch the surface of the other ones. I've thought about using them in something and as you notice I have them in a cloth so that way they don't um, they don't hurt themselves I guess you know they get scratched or fingerprints all over and anytime I handle them I uh, either handle them with a cloth or I get my uh, cotton gloves so that way I don't get any fingerprints on them. I recommend cotton because it's sort of obvious now these are pretty easy to come off. As you notice, this slides right out, this pops right off, and then there's a screw right here. That's a bitch to grab, just a little bit. Come on, careful. You gotta be careful about these because you don't want to accidentally fuck anything up. All right, so this is where you, okay, so as you notice down here is the speaker. I'm actually looking up at the camera to make sure I'm not messing anything up oh shit where did that go I heard that fall out okay there you are cool cool okay so actually I was wrong um this part you oh my god you need to be careful about this I did pop this motherfucker out one time it was either this or I think it might have been a ribbon cable I think it was this ribbon cable and oh my god ribbon cables Ugh. they will make you want to just kill yourself okay so the next part is right here luckily the screwdriver again is this. Some of these, like, you see these little D-pads. You need to be careful with these two. I mean, pretty much everything. It's tiny in these things. For some reason, Nintendo thinks it's a good idea to, like, bolt motherfucking things down in these things. Which is really fucking stupid. That's one screw. All right, this is two screws. Almost. Now we're about to have that one out. Now, I've, I've taken this out once before, so it shouldn't be hard to take out. All right, so there you go. That's this one. So now we need to match it up, make sure which one it is. Okay, that's the wrong one. Okay, it should be this one. Let's look. Matching up. Yep, that's the correct one. Now we just need to get this thing off. Okay, perfect. We got it. This is the old one. You can even feel because that feels like there might be some gunk up in this one. I have, Like I said, I've taken these things apart several times. You can tell a big difference between the two. The newer one is greener. This is a little older. So we're going to set the old one off to the side so I don't get them mixed up. Oh, I need that ribbon cable, though. That took at least two, three minutes. Oh, my God, that was frustrating. Okay, so now, luckily, putting this back into another one should be a piece of cake. All right, so I got it into the new one. So now all I need to do is take that and pop the pop the little C stick back on, and let's do it for the other side. So let's go ahead and uh, make sure I get everything properly seated. Okay, yeah, I'm just making sure that's the correct direction to put it in. Please tell me this is going the correct direction. Please tell me I have the right one. It might not be the right one. It might not be the right... Oh, okay, there we go. I was like, oh shit, did I just put it on the wrong one? <laughs> There's something about what needs to say. Okay, there we go. So now we have that situated. Now we're going to apply the screws again. That took about three minutes. I don't know. It, it took longer than I wanted to record, and nobody really wanted to record that. So as you noticed, like I said, those slide back on. 
And now we're going to put that on. Make sure that clicks. That clicks. Good. Now we're going to go to the, this side. This time, I'm going to pause the video so that way you don't have to worry about seeing me take this all apart again. I'll get to the main point. So it'll be right back. So that took a minute. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. It's an identical thing, just mirrored pretty much. And uh, almost. That's one screw. That's about to be two screws. It's so much easier when I'm doing it like this because I'm left handed. So, yeah, no. That's two screws. And now for the fun part. This is where it's actually going to get. Like, again, remember, it's going to be a little freaking difficult. So I'll go ahead and pop this on there. And this is where it's probably going to be difficult, so I'll be right back. This time, this didn't take as long as the other one did, which is quite impressive, actually. I was really, like, it only took, like, 10 seconds to get out. But still, I didn't know how long it was going to take. So I was just like, oh, these won't take forever. They're identical on both sides. No, nope, they're not identical on both sides. Okay. So now I just got to pop this. Just got to, as you see, match it up. Pop it in place, flip it over, align that shit. I don't know why I'm not doing Nintendo repairs. I really don't. Need a backlight on your screen? Give it to me. Give me the backlight. Give me everything it comes with, and I'll do it. <laughs> so first, I think what will be better is if I do this. Come on. Got it. Snap it right into place. Make sure if by any chance it doesn't um if it doesn't fall into place right off the bat you need to probably flip it because that kind of shit but you are at your own risk of voiding warranty if you do this all right so for the last part which i just put all the screws in i'm completely done with screws the last part of course something's not in here's screw not all the way in come on Always make sure you tighten these because you'll hear that rattling and it's really annoying and you never know where it's at. I think it might just be the buttons because buttons do that. But you can double check them. Don't tighten them too tight, but don't tighten them. Don't untighten them, you know what I mean? Just make sure they're tight enough to where, you know. My Wii U pad did add those little covers on the back of it. Come on. And this one. All right. So now to apply oh, the battery. Oh, it's right here. Derp. Now to apply the battery. And then this thing. And that's one. And that's a two. Come on. All right, so now, here are the old joysticks. Let's see how this turns out. So, turn it on. Here are the old ones. Come on, notice, mofo. Maybe it's got to turn it on. Hey, there it goes. It just needed to, because they were, oh, sometimes this will happen. Just in case if you take it apart, don't worry. What may happen is that the two need to just, you need to return on your Wii U and turn that on for it to really notice it. So far, let's do this. All right, so let's go to the shop channel and see if my $6 did work out. Here, I'll turn my screen a little more. This actually, this setup I've got, I would really highly recommend it because I specifically bought this for my, uh, I would recommend if you ever get the money and you have the money, buy yourself a gaming monitor. Not a TV, a monitor, because, I mean, at this point, let's see. Oh, 
All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and test Splatoon. That was the biggest thing that was happening with this, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into Splatoon. All right, now that I'm on Splatoon, we're going to go ahead and go into a battle. We're going to see how this works and see if uh, me fixing these actually came in handy. Let's hope that both joysticks work fantastic. And you know what? The good thing about this is, is I probably, if I ever needed to, I can probably reuse these on my, uh, on my, on my Pro Controller as well if I actually needed to. Because it's more than likely the same setup. So let's see if it see if my work come uh, came in handy. I'm really sorry about the camera angle bullshit, but uh, yeah, I know I don't have a um, I don't have a capture card yet, which I really am hoping next paycheck I will be getting one if they're not that expensive. I might be able to get my mom to help me with it because. She, she supports this kind of thing, helps my anxiety and stuff, so I would really love to record some stuff. So far, it looks like it helped. It looked like it worked. I was right. So I'm really pleased at the eBay buyer. If I could find him, I would send him my video and uh, let him know that this all worked out. I'm anal, so if you're seeing me go over ink, I'm, I'm just hitting some spots I missed. I, fi I figured, oh, fuck you. I figure I'd do a little Splatoon play, then I'll go from there. Damn it. If I'd gone, if I'd gone uh, cracking on his ass, it would have worked better. I don't commonly like um, the doing whatever. I don't like doing like a, I can't remember what those are called. Mega jumps, big jumps. I forgot where you can click on the screen and it'll take you to wherever that squid is. I don't like doing that because. Oh, he got him. Cool. I don't like doing that because you know spawn killing's a thing, so you might as well just go do your own thing, kind of idea. It's not like anybody even gives a shit or tries to be on your team anyways. Everybody's like, it's all, it, this game is all for one, one for all kind of deal. Ah, he got me. Ooh, high defense. That's nice. Pretty decent defense. We lost. Unless I can get, unless I can clean up some spots in like the next 30 seconds, we're probably gonna lose. I've gotten as high as a thousand, but it's really rare. I'm happy. I got six, six, six. It's whatever. So let's see who won. Hey, we just barely won. That's actually funny. We won by like 10.1%. No, 9.1%. I think. Fuck, I don't like math. Go away. Hey, you did nice. 16.66. All right, so I really hope that helped out, so hang on. All right, so I really hope that that video did. I really hope this video really helped you out. If you have no idea how to install these, I hope my video did help. If you need any Nintendo ad uh, help, Nintendo advice, you can always message me on Facebook, message me here, ask me questions. I don't normally mind. 
this was a giant sweet tea. So, until next time, if you need another tutorial help on anything, if you um, like my hat, tell me. I really like it. It's comfy. It's comfy. It's right up there with this one. Let's see. Let's overlap them for no reason at all. All right. Yeah. Now nah, I am comfy. Yeah, getting this one, trying to get this, oh, my ear fell. Trying to get this one situated with the ears poking up is actually, like, not that easy. But I really like this one, because this is more of a hat I can go out and go outside with, so. But I will always, forever, love this hat. It's my Coca-Cola hat, Mojo. Anyways, so, Nintendo help, message me. Want to like, uh, comment, like, subscribe. I hope I did something useful. Until then. You know what to do. Social media down on the other page. It's on my page. So three little buttons. Later.